St. Louis County Prosecuting Attorney Bob McCullough yesterday in the front page of the St. Louis Post-Dispatch said, hey, wait a minute, not so fast. That's not a good idea. He joins us now to talk about it. Good morning, Bob McCullough. Morning. Thanks. What's the issue? Why do you have a problem with this? Well, I think the, the, the big issue is this. And first and foremost, let me say this, that, that the crime rates in this area are, are lower than they have been since the late 60s. And so, first and foremost, this is a much safer community, city, county, and the surrounding area than it was 20 years ago, than it was 30 years ago. And you have to go back more than 40 years to find a community, this community, to be as safe as it was. So we're really talking about uh, when they want to combine the stats on this, we're not talking about, or they're not talking about combining the city stats and all of the county. They're talking about combining the city and a portion of the county. And in all honesty, even by their account, all that does is move the city from from second place to eighth place. And I'm not sure that's that's even worth the effort. I think it's very deceptive uh, because it is. It includes only the unincorporated portions of the county and most of the areas patrolled by the county police. Not all of them. Ex- Jennings, for example, is excluded from, from this. Ex- ex- explain that. Why would they... Uh- when you ask people on the street, do you want to combine the numbers? People would say, "Sure, why not?" But they're cherry they're 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 cherry picking the crime numbers in the county. Why not just take all the numbers? Why are they only picking some numbers? Well, that uh, that's something you have to ask. Yeah, I mean, I, the county police don't patrol the entire county. If it, but if you read the proposal that's been submitted to the FBI, which is first of all be way beyond the, just the information gathering stage, it's been submitted to them. You, you would think that the entire county is being included in that. But it's really less than 40 percent of the population, or about 40 percent of the population that's being included. And it includes Wildwood. Um, it includes unincorporated North and South County, but it doesn't include Jennings. And it doesn't, uh, and it doesn't include uh, any of the other municipalities that aren't patrolled by St. Louis County. So I think it's, it's deceptive. And the, and the real problem I have with it is this. We have enough trouble maintaining credibility in government work. And by submitting something along this line, I think it's just deceptive. It hurts our credibility, and it's really hardly worth the effort because all it does, it takes takes the the media that wants to rank cities based on these numbers, which is deceptive in the first place, in their place. It takes us only from second place to eighth place, and that's – I don't know there's a big difference. You're going to argue that, hey, I don't live in the second most dangerous city in the country. I live in the eighth most dangerous city in the country. It's just – nonsense what we ought to be working on is figuring out <clears throat> how we're going to govern this area um, you know we're going to end up with a consolidated government someday we've got 90 municipalities in st louis county some of them uh, are incapable of providing basic services for their citizens you know we've got to be working on these issues and not just playing <clears throat> playing with these numbers it's good for the city in that their numbers go down but it's bad for the county because their crime numbers go up. Well, it does, and again, that makes it very deceptive because when you look at this, <clears throat> the city, the murder rate, for example, for the city is cut in half, but the murder rate for the county uh, goes up by eight and a half times. Now, that's pretty damaging, I think, to the people in St. Louis County, and it's very deceptive because it's just wrong, and first of all, it's only it's less than half of the county that we're talking about. You know, there was a, an occurrence... Uh, or a period in early June, mid-June, in which by these numbers, if these numbers were combined the way the the chiefs and the mayor and the executive are proposing this, um, St. Louis County would have had zero murders. But I know we had four murders. We had two in University City, one in in, uh, Kirkwood, and one in, I believe, in Berkeley, but in another municipality. And so tell me, how is that accurate? How are we giving an accurate portrayal of the community when we just ignore for, for murder victims. Have you had a chance to talk to the police chiefs or the mayor about this? No. I, I, uh, the chiefs and I spoke briefly at a meeting back in June about this, and then I saw the uh, the proposal that was coming up, in, in, and I'd heard about it, of course, but uh, but we haven't have not discussed this in any real detail. Yeah. Well, and I'm not suggesting, certainly, that um, you know, that this is a city-county thing. The city, you know, should be. This should be one community here. It is one region. It should be one community here. But there's a lot of work involved in that, and we've got to get going on that. You know, we've got to be camped in Indianapolis or in Louisville to see how their consolidated government works, how it came about, what works, what doesn't work, instead of just uh, just doing this. There is one part of their proposal I do agree with, 
and that's at the very end where uh, Professor Roosevelt says, hey, listen, we, we need to get back to policing instead of public relations, and I couldn't agree more, but let's get back to it. You know, the whole purpose of the numbers is so that you can see where the crime is and then do something about it. Not so we can, you know, play games about, you know, where's a more dangerous city than that. You know, if the media is going to do that, they're going to do that. But we can't, we can't drop to that level and just start manipulating the numbers for our own purposes to make us look marginally better. You, you go, I wanted to go back and explain, uh, you said earlier in the year you, you knew of four murders, but if we were to count the stats the way they, right. they counted them, it would show up as zero. Explain that again, because that was fascinating. Well, because the, the, the proposal that the Chiefs have put together um, would include unincorporated county and all of the municipalities that the county patrols, except for Jennings. And so if someone were to ask the chief during that time period or what would be reported to the FBI if they accept this proposal is that there were zero murders that week or the, that period at least in St. Louis County. But there were actually four murders that week. Uh, two of them occurred in University City, which would not be included in this. Two of them or one occurred in Kirkwood, which is not included in this, and one in Berkeley, which is not included in their proposal. Would you be in favor of taking the entire county, incorporated and uh, everything, as one and merge that with the, the city numbers? Well, I, merge the numbers? Yeah. Or, I mean, <laughs> there's two different things there. One, I certainly have no quarrel with taking all of the numbers and putting the Now, the FBI is not going to do that, but there's certainly nothing that prevents us from doing that, putting everything together and saying, here's the entire St. Louis community, St. Louis City and County. I have absolutely no issue at all with that. Right now, I have great issue with you know some of the proposals that are out there to, uh, to take the shotgun wedding approach to merging the city and county and say, okay, city, now you're in the county, now you guys work out the details. I think those details need to be worked out in advance. And, and the county's got a lot of work to do. The city's got a lot of work to do. We've all got a lot of work to do, and that's what we ought to be concentrating on instead of playing with numbers. St. Louis County Prosecuting Attorney Bob McCullough. How's your golf game, Bob? Uh, you know, I hope it gets a little better. <laughs> you, you and me both. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Have a good day. My pleasure. You thank got you. it. 758 here on the Big 550 KTO.